in terms of using the collection, in the early days, uh, I can remember, well, we were in the, in the music library where, where Lori Samsel is now, I believe, her office. Isn't it? Uh, you know, but we, that was the AMRC room back in the old days. And we had a cabinet out in front, and we would make displays, and I would, and then we would have folk music displays. We had the Ben Gray Lumpkin Folk Song Collection, which, uh, which by the way, is easy to find in in, in the library. You just can, you know, go on the in, the in the internet and call it up, and you can find just about every folk song he ever collected, and you can find concordances with it. So we had all of that, uh, you know, going for us, and uh, so I used the, I used the collection in my classes to, uh, uh, you know, have the students maybe do a folk song concordance. That is, they they choose a folk song, and then they would find folk songs in other collections. Mm. Uh, uh, that's, mm. you know, that that's busy work, but. Uh, uh, um, and then Susan Porter was one of my students, and she uh, was uh, very good. Uh, in fact, she, you know, this is Susan Porter th every three years, isn't it? Uh, mm -hmm. they, uh, Tom has that, has continued to, to, to honor her with that. And she was very interested in Sister Mary's ballad opera collection. Now, we didn't have any ballad operas. Uh, and ballad operas, of course, are, uh, they have the, the songs and ballad operas. I think Sister Mary had gone to England and copied about 200 of these, is it, approximately, as I remember. And, but then these songs that are in the ballad operas show up in other ballad operas. So the point is, okay, so you might have a, a folk song like Barbie Allen. Well, it shows up, you know, in other collections and, uh, uh, and I don't know, it's kind of busy work, but it's, it's kind of, uh, it's, it's very interesting. And then, the, and then what are the variances? Because sometimes people sing it upside down. Da -de da 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 -de da da la da 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 I mean, they go off on another direction. And, uh, but, of course, that's a pretty solid folk song. But there are others that are not at all. And, uh, I know the folk song collection well, too. Uh, I have a, a second place up in the mountains, and there are a lot of people up there like, to sing songs and folk songs, and and uh, one of them in particular got very very interested. He goes to a folk song festival. You know, there are a lot of them around the country, and he didn't really realize what we had at the University of Colorado. And so I invited him to come to campus and took him up and showed him the collection. and And he then has been spreading what we have around. Uh, nationally through some of the folk song groups from around the country. They meet in different places each year and uh, just to sort of talk about the kind of things they found out about uh, about folk music. And so we're now quite well known to those people as well. Yeah. They're sort of amateur collectors and singers. Mm, uh, okay, that's, that's, yeah. I, that's, that's interesting that uh, they, they know about that. 